I was asked a question recently why someone's neck could be in pain or be very tense or otherwise uncomfortable because of what's going on, what's going on down at the pelvis. And you probably actually already know the answer. The answer is because everything is connected. We all kind of know that, but we also don't know how we are connected. So the, the typical issue starts at the pelvis. The left side falls forward. Now my, my torso and body rotate to the right, but I need to stay straight. So certain muscles are gonna turn on and activate and rotate me towards the center. It's because we have these chains of muscles on the right and the left and the front and the back. And these chains of muscles are what provide movement. They alternate our movement right and left side of our body. They get us going forward, they get us going side to side, and they get us rotating. When any of these chains of muscles become overactive and don't shut down, things start to go wrong. So when a left pelvis falls forward, I have a chain of muscles in the front of my hip and my diaphragm that are staying active, too active. Now I'm rotated right, I need to counter rotate. Those muscles that are gonna counter rotate me back to the center now stay on and become overactive. When that happens, I lose the ability to breathe with my diaphragms. They can't pump anymore because they're not positioned correctly. So what the brain is gonna do, it's gonna activate and recruit neck muscles to help draw air into my chest because I don't have my diaphragms anymore. So what these neck muscles will do is start to pull the rib cage up to try to get air in. The other thing is when you are positioned in a way, in a certain way and you can't get out of that position, some muscles are constantly positioned in a short position and others are in a long position. So you can be feeling discomfort because these neck muscles are either positioned short or positioned long and they're being stretched out or short and tight. Either one can result in discomfort. Now you also have muscles that need to do the opposite motion of what position you're in, but they can't. They can't overcome the, over, the overactive chain of muscles. So it's really three main issues with the neck. One, muscles could be working too hard, accessory muscles, to, to try to help you breathe so they could be overworked. Other muscles could be positioned short or long, either way, uh, either one could end up in discomfort or pain. And then also the muscles that need to provide the opposite movement, they can't do that, but they keep trying. And so they can get tense or, or, or fatigued or, or painful. So any of those three situations can occur simply because of what's happening at a pelvis and the compensations that go all the way up and affect your breathing. So that's how neck muscles can be affected by what's going on down at the pelvis. So to get rid of that neck tension or pain, you have to restore proper breathing ability by repositioning a pelvis and a rib cage so everything can untwist and now you have freedom to move, freedom to breathe, freedom to rotate, freedom to go side to side, which you didn't have before and that will turn off the overactive chain of muscles and let the underused chain of muscles do what they need to do.